Chapter 1, Intro Hello, it's me, Dr Piglin And today I will be doing my first SMG4 theory Yeah, so I'm predicting the new antagonist of the new arc So yeah, basically, yeah the first half of the theory isn't mine, like, I think it's no nulls, so I'm not sure, like, yeah, I don't own the first bit, but the other half, I own the whole thing. So, yeah, on to the video! Oh, by the way, the, the the first half of the theory, which is no nulls, is called, um, the Seven Deadly Sins Theory, which each antagonist is, has one deadly sin, like... Yeah, in Christianity or something. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's like that. Yeah, so, yeah, on to the video. Yeah. Waluigi represents Raph because he has rejected throughout the Waluigi arc. Bob represents uh, greed because he is willing to betray all of his friends to get rich and to... Uh, Get famous in the rapping business. Rap, rap, rap. Um, Francis represents lust because he wants an island full of waifus and he's willing to kill all of the inklings just to have that. SMG3 represents envy because he's so envious because he's in the shadow of SMG4. Or SMG0 slash Niles represents pride because he's super proud of what he does like destroying universes though he doesn't really want to do it but he's proud of himself when he gets it done the god box represents gluttony because it feeds on destroyed universes pretty cool right all of the deadly sins except for one sloth who could it be chapter three my part so, what do you think is Sloth? I think it is. It's definitely not Kaizo. It is Karen, the new character to FMG4, or kind of newish. She's been a um, background character for a while. So, yeah. I guess. Okay. So, on to the theory now. You're probably thinking that Karen is a Karen, but she's more as a depressed person than a Karen. And she doesn't really want to do anything. She has a 1,000 kids and it's too stressful for her. She has too many bad poop jobs. And so, yeah. I reckon Kaizo will go into uh, to her shop and kind of make her angry or something. So angry that she hates her life so much that she wants to kill him and everyone else that she doesn't like. Including Mario, which she has extreme hate for. So yeah, that's what's going to happen, I reckon. And also, she will buy a giant mech to fight them. Because a giant mech would be cool for What Fee 2022 if the arc ends in it. I really like the What Fee ending arcs. It's better than just the normal ending ones. Because they have a cool song at the end, they have the challenges. I really like it. I'm probably the only one that likes them, though. Hopefully the meme games don't, like, have what fee 2022. That's just in my opinion, though. The meme games is pretty cool, the idea. Like, it's going to be some sort of Mr. Beast sort of thing. Hopefully it doesn't have what fee in it. I really do hope that Karen's not just a background character. SMG 1 and 2 were once a background character, but now sh she should um, become, like, an actual main character just like them. They haven't appeared in a while, as well as Melanie. I wonder what Melanie's gonna do in this new arc. Probably go with Bob or something. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And yeah, sub like and subscribe, like and subscribe, like and subscribe. So yeah, wait. Do you hear that knocking? I think we have to go over and check what that is. It's probably at my door. That reminds me, yeah, SMG3 and SMG4 kissed in the latest episode. Knocking's getting louder. Maybe I've done something. But yeah, they kissed in the new episode. From Mario, of course. Well, now let's go check my door. 
Hello? Wait a minute! It's Susan with the remorse! I need to get out of here! Oh, oh no! She's attacking! Oh no! Freezer wants to her! Oh no! We're gonna attack! Oh, no! Oh, I'm dying! I'm dead!